Welcome to this video on why programming is so hard. It's something that everybody seems to feel when they start off. And it's a genuinely held belief. My name's Andy Wicks and I've been in programming an awfully long time. So let me explain why programming really isn't that hard. There are several reasons for this, but I'll go into those at the end. Most people seem to think that programming is difficult because you have to be terribly clever. You've got to learn so many things before you can even write a line of code. You have to remember all these commands and all these lines of code. You have to be so exact. Well, some of this is true. Well, one item is true. But the rest are all false. And I will explain. Let's start at the beginning by what programming is. Programming is just asking the computer to do something. The computer, the working parts of the computer, are just made of sand. If sand can do it, you can do it. There's nothing clever. And there are only three concepts. Or oh, there's all sorts of fluff around these three. But there are only three concepts that you need to understand. The first is the idea of a command. So command is something like stand up, sit down. Those are commands. Do something and do it now. And they're fairly standard. So in computing it might be something like divide by two or move this picture from here to here. Those are commands. And those can have errors in. So supposing we have the computer program Stand up, sit down. You think, well, that should work. You know, that sounds reasonable. But supposing you were standing up when you were watching this video and there is no chair behind you. What do you do when the command is stand up? Do you stay where you stood? Or do you say, I'm already standing, your program's wrong. And if you do stay standing up, what do you do when you sit down? When you sit down, you fall over. There's a floor in the program and a floor underneath you. So let's go back to the basics and get the command structure right. For that, we need to be able to say something like if. So we can have a condition like if you are sitting down, stand up, sit down. Now we have something that works. That second type of thing that you can do in computing, the condition, gets the computer to only do commands if something is true. And that's fairly easy to understand. You only do these commands if something actually happens. So if you don't have a chair, you ignore the stand up, sit down commands. Supposing what I want to do is to check whether you have a chair but I want you to stand up and sit down three times. We would have a computer program like, if you're sitting on a chair, stand up and sit down three times. And that program would work. The stand up and sit down three times, those stand up and sit down commands are in a loop. We're getting you to do the same thing over and over again. Humans aren't very good at loops. Humans get bored and their concentration wavers. Whereas computers, they just keep going. So you say, do this over and over again, and it does it. Over and over again, it doesn't get bored. And those are the only three ideas that you need to hang on to when you're programming. Everything else, as I say, is just froth. It's just extras. And we'll go into these extras and what they mean. But if you know about commands, conditions and loops, you've got programming covered. So why do people say programming is so difficult? Well, you see lines and lines of code and you think, I don't understand a word of that. Well, yes and no. If you were learning a foreign language, you'd look at something written in that language and say, I don't understand a word of that. 
But after a few basic lessons, you'd start to get the hang of it. And after a year or so, you'd be fine. You'd be into the language without any trouble at all. Exactly the same holds true in programming. Just because it looks difficult when you start does not mean that it is difficult. You don't have to be clever, you just have to be persistent. But do you have to learn all these commands? Surely you've got to remember them all to be able to put them in your computer program. Well, no. There's a simple technique in computing. You copy, paste, amend. The internet is a wonderful place. Look at the kinds of people you find on it. The internet is a wonderful place, and so you've got the ability to go to a website, type in the name of a programming language, Java, then what you want to do, loop, so you type in Java space loop, and see what comes up. You'll get hundreds of hits. You find one that appeals to you, you copy that code, paste it into your program, and amend it to suit what you want to do. The important thing is not that you remember the lines of code, but that you know that those are the sorts of things that you need. You've got to get a hang that you've got to get the hang of the things that you actually want the program to do and the order in which you want them done. So you don't have to be clever, you just have to think it through logically. I start here, I have this. Now, to get to where I want to go, the next step is to get that, and then the next step is to get that. And if you imagine it as a manual process, you've got it sorted. So, do you have to learn a whole load of stuff before you start? Well, there's a bit of yes and no. There are some things that you have to learn before you start. You have to learn how to use your editor. Programs are written in editors... And you have to learn how to use that. You have to learn how to convert what you've written, your programming code, into what the machine understands, the ons and offs. That's called compiling. So you've got to learn how to compile your program. And finally, you've got to learn how to handle errors. And this is something that people find really difficult. Most people would imagine that a good programmer is one who makes no mistakes. That's wrong. If it were, I'd be no good as a programmer. I make lots of mistakes. doesn't matter how many mistakes you make. What matters is whether you find them or not, and how quickly you find them. If you're out at work as a programmer, your boss couldn't care less how many mistakes you made, they're interested in how quickly you can provide a working program. And if you provide a working program more quickly than that person over there, you're the programmer. You're the one who's worked it all out and it gets to keep their job. So all you need in programming is a bit of confidence, a bit of tenacity, and the ability to type in the name of your programming language and the problem that you want to solve into a browser. Then you're sorted. Programming is easy.